book six of the Republic, Socrates defines the true philosopher as a person who loves the knowledge that reveals the nature of eternal truths, is absorbed in the pleasures of the soul, and will have a gentle, sociable, harmonious nature. Adamantus objects, asserting, according to common opinion, philosophers are rogues or idlers. Socrates responds with a parable about a ship's captain whose senses are declining, a mutinous crew, and a true pilot. The pilot represents the authentic philosopher, but is marginalized and maligned by the crew. Socrates continues by commenting on the ease with which philosophic natures are corrupted. The most gifted minds become outstandingly bad when they're poorly educated. Paradoxically, the very qualities that make a man a philosopher may actually deter him from philosophy. Socrates returns to the notion the philosopher king in the ideal state must devote himself to discovery and contemplation of the highest good. Such activity is only achievable through the means of dialectic. The philosopher will engage with absolute truth, beauty, and temperance, and distinguishes the forms or absolute ideas of these qualities from their human copies. Socrates defines goodness by likening the ways the sun reveals the visible world to human powers of sight to the way goodness illuminates intelligible things. Absolute goodness allows one's intelligence to distinguish truth. Ordinary senses cannot understand true reality. People need absolute goodness to understand things as they truly are. Socrates soon follows up with the analogy of the divided line, which ends up representing the visible world and the intelligible world, and within them, the imaginative conjecture or opinion, belief concerning visible things, some ideas or knowledge, and pure ideas or forms. The divided line presents a hierarchy ranging from lowest to highest in terms of truth, conjecture, opinion, thought or knowledge, and finally understanding or reason. Book six is especially notable for Socrates' eloquent defense of the true philosopher. The analogies of the sun and the divided line are among the most celebrated parts of the Republic, and they will be followed up on shortly, at the beginning of Book 7, by the famous allegory of the cave.